the three main pillars to be successful, world class performer with lots of money. Distinguished guests, fellow Toastmasters, good evening and salam alaikum. So it was 6 a.m. on a weekend with the dad opening his eyes, seeing his son in front of him, smiling and waiting for him to wake up. Once he saw his son like that, he started getting into the living. And bit by bit, the dad wanted him to spend the weekend with his son but he remembered that he still had some morning routine to do, that he learned from an eminent speaker and coach and book writer, who said that for you to become successful and a world class performer with lots of money, you have to do three things. So between the feeling of wanting to spend the day and the morning with his son and child, that he doesn't seem to see him, a lot within the weekdays and also still wanting to practice his morning routine that he truly believes will lead to a better person. Here came a brilliant idea. Why not bring my child into the learnings of success and mix them together? So here sat the father with the son, starting to teach him the three pillars of success. So the first pillar was the morning exercise. And they started measuring and counting for each other, either push-ups or sit-ups or jump and jacks or even more. With lots of fun, the father taught the child a key step in this exercise. He told him, the key here my son, is to sweat. If you sweat, either do it for 15 or 20 minutes, that's a success. So they had some good 20 minutes together, but his morning routine is not over yet. So here came the second part of the morning routine. And the father brought in the child and he told him, come. And he taught him how to sit down. How to sit in the meditation pose, and how to have a calm posture, and how to breathe. And he taught him the concept of meditation. And he taught him what to think of while in this pose. And together, they breathe in. stayed in this post for about 10 minutes. And then came the second or the third part of the morning routine, which is learning. And the boy was getting new information, was getting new data that was not natural for a nine-year-old boy to learn. But he learned the concept of the three pillars which is the exercise and meditate or sit still and the third pillar which is to learn something new that you might have not been aware of but this learning experience will should grow you as a person and as a profession so happens that this boy's name and the thing that I didn't mention the name Although it's really close to my heart, and this name is Ezri, and his father's name happens to be Marwan Dad. And this is a real story. And when I knew that I'm going to speak about him, and I'm going to deliver a speech about our experience together, and about our time together, he told me, okay, why not to give this gift to the audience who are going to listen to your speech. So who's ready to feel, even for a few minutes, what could the meditation or thinking and breathing 
slowly bring to you. Who's here, Sanders? Can I get a yes? Yes. Sure. Okay. So why not we just relax? Not the time that we just. <laughs> and just we can just relax and take a deep breath. And we can close our eyes, gaze on our will, and just take another deep breath. And imagine that we are already in a very safe space and know that we are in a safe place. We can know that we are in the most favorable place ever on earth. And with another deep breath, you can imagine that you're breathing only light. And there's only light in this room. And with every breath that you take, light starts to grow from within. Starting from a very small dot and growing with every breath. And just the ball of light starts to grow more and more. And you know for sure that this light is healing you from the inside. It's healing every part of your body, it's healing every part of your heart. And this light keeps on growing as much as you're breathing. And with this you can bring yourself back to the moon, knowing that this light is always and will be always with you. So whatever that you felt right now, I just felt it. And he knew that to change the external world from the outside, you need first to focus on your inner world from the inside. Thank you so much.